Well, we are taking a look at your weather now. We had more clouds and, of course, some cooler air out there that we are experiencing today as well. All right, so Chris, when will we see the sun return? Anytime soon, perhaps? It eventually will during the day tomorrow, but tonight it is going to be uh, mainly cloudy out there. And it's kind of cool, too. And if you're headed to the fair, uh, Andrew has picked a great day to go there. And Andrew, in our 4 o'clock newscast, you were making us all hungry, talking about all the food that you're seeing out there. And I see a sign behind you that says bourbon chicken. Chicken. And what do you, you got some in your hand there too, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, they got the bourbon chicken behind me, but take a look at this. Chris, this is the stuff that I love. This is a fried Oreo. Please look at how delicious that is. Mm. You know what makes a mess? Especially when you're wearing a black shirt. But you got to come out here and get some of this. It's my wife's favorite, so I hope she's not watching right now because she's going to be wanting some when I get home. Take a look at the rides out here. I mean, it's a lot of fun. You have the great food, the bourbon chicken, the cheese bar. They also have uh, the lift right over us, the mountain skyway. Just great food out here. It's something that you have to do when you come to the fair. You've got to get fried food. You've got to try the unique flavors that they have everywhere, whether it be the funnel cake, whether it be the fried Oreo, whether it be the cheese bar that's over there. Uh, you see there's a lot of activity out here already. The fair is going to be going on all the way through October 1st. And you know, it's not just the food. It's not just the rides. It's the attractions. For tonight at 8 p.m., they have a monster truck show that's going to be going on. A lot of fun out here. Sea lions, there's a dog show, they have pig races, all that going on all throughout up until uh, October 1st. So you got to come out here and have a good time. Now, it's important to note, they did say that you need to try to take the county services road if you're going to be coming out here. Try to stay off Callaway Road because it is going to be really busy along that road. They say that it's best if you take the county services road. That way you can get around smoothly. And Chris, you know, you said that it was a great day, a perfect day. I mean, it really is. Yeah, it's cloudy, but it's nice and cool. A lot of people out here having a fun time. We're excited for some more fun here as we hit throughout the next few days too. Yeah, and, and we're really going to be entering into a dry stretch of weather out there too. And so if you're going out there for tonight, we do have the clouds now. Temperatures are in the 70s. We'll pretty much be holding in the 70s throughout much of the evening hours tonight. And those clouds slowly beginning to break up just a little bit. Here's that cloud cover that we see right now, but these clouds are not giving us any rain. We're really keeping a close eye on this system up in Tennessee and moving into parts of North Carolina, and that's going to be approaching the Georgia state line. This was a lot more uh, a lot stronger a little bit earlier. We even had a severe thunderstorm warning in effect well to the north of Chattanooga a little bit earlier. As this drifts closer to the Georgia state line, still some moderate to heavy rain, thunder and lightning, but it is showing signs of weakening and we really think that is going to weaken as it moves into north North Georgia. A low risk for a couple of showers lingering there over the Georgia state line, but it's not going to make it here to Atlanta. Tomorrow's high a little warmer than what we had today. We are at 75 for a high today. Tomorrow's going to be 80. That's still just a little bit below the average. Then warming up back to above average temperatures for Friday and Saturday. We're talking mid 80s here for Saturday and that right around 83 degrees for Sunday and Monday. All right, the dry air in place now, even though we have those clouds around and that northeast wind, uh, it's going to dry out even more tomorrow. You see how this colors start getting a little bluer there, a little darker. That's indicating that drier air in place for Friday. And then look at this into Saturday and Sunday, even drier air. We're going to see mostly sunny skies with those temperatures warming up even a little bit more through the weekend and staying dry in next week too. We don't see any major system coming in here to give us any additional moisture or give us any rain moving into our area. So here's that system tonight. Some of those showers extending down into parts of far north Georgia, maybe into parts of Fannin County, Gilmer County, Union County, Towns County, Murray County. But then you see how that falls apart really by 10, 11 o'clock. We'll just have those clouds here. I'm thinking we will see some clouds lingering into tomorrow morning. Then those clouds break up a little bit more through the day to give us more sunshine and setting us up for a good end of the week and a great weekend too. You can see that high up to 84 Friday, then 85 on Saturday with mostly sunny skies. Wasometer numbers going up too. In fact, look at all the tens on the wasometer. Not quite 11s just because these temperatures are a little bit above the average, but a 10 is still really good there. Temperatures lower 60s for morning lows, afternoon highs low to mid 80s.